Welcome brethren for visiting our channel known as Division of Labor today. We are at the altar of the God of Ofesharofancha, Okwesharofancha, Omesharofancha, and Otisharofancha. He is the God who reveals the deep and secret things to his servant prophet Ebuka Obi in Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Read, now, watch prophet. Genesis 26 verse 2. I want to pass something in you before we sing praises to God now. Mm -hmm. The Lord had appeared to Isaac. The Lord has appeared to Isaac. And had said. And the Lord said to Isaac. Do not go to Egypt. Do not go to Egypt. Stay in this land. Stay in this land. Where I tell you to stay. Where I tell you to go to stay. Do you know why? Isaac wanted to go to Egypt. Isaac was already loved to go to Egypt because at that time Egypt was blessed. At that time, it's as if that anybody that goes to Egypt, Yebutike. It's as if that anybody that goes to Egypt will make it. Then when Isaac he saw how beautiful and how prosperous Egypt was, as of that time, he was already going to Egypt to stay. And the Lord says, don't go to Egypt. Stay in the land that I asked you to stay. And I will bless you. Uh-huh. Matthew 12, 13. Matthew 12, 13. Then he said to the man with the paralyzed hand, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and it became well again, just like the other one. After they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph. And said, Herod will be looking for the child in order to kill him. So get up, take the child and, this, and his mother and escape to Egypt and stay until I tell you. That is Matthew chapter 2 from verses 2 following. I don't know whether you get something now. Isaac wanted to go to Egypt. The Lord said to him, do not go to Egypt, even though it's as if Egypt is so blessed. They have green grass. They have food. They have assorted milk. They have everything. When people go there, they will be rich. When people go there, they will see work. When people go there, they will have easy life. The Lord said to him when he was already going, he said, do not go. I, the Lord, knows the plan I have for you. The one I have for you is different from the one I have to others. You must obey Divine instruction, Isaac. Do not go to Egypt. Go to, stay where I ask you to stay. For I, the Lord, will bless you. Now, when Herod was looking for Jesus to kill, the Lord said to Mary and Joseph, through the angel, Take the child and run to Egypt. Jesus was asked to run to Egypt. But Isaac was asked not to go to Egypt. So what it means is that God has different plans for each person. The plan of God concerning you is different from his plan Concerning me. Jeremiah 29 11. I alone knows the plan I have for you. I alone knows the plan I have for you. The plan I have for you is different from the one I have for your elder brother, it's different from the one I have for your younger brother. 
Stay here in Egypt. Don't leave, go to Egypt, Isaac. Stay in that land, I tell you. It may look as if that land is dried. But that is where I want to bless you. The Bible says in Psalm 121, we look up to the hill. We are commit our help. The Bible says our help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and earth. Our help does not come from abroad, but comes from above. Why am I bringing this message today? I want you to listen and pay attention. Every boy today wants to go to Europe. You see people making some money here. I want to travel to abroad. Abroad is good. I want my children to study there. Fantastic. Canada, UK, America, Europe. Oh, my children will go. Very good. But you make time, if you're wise, you make time to ask God. Everybody born in this world have a place. You have a place where God has destiny for you. If you are not that place God has destiny for you to make it, you are wasting your time. That is why so many people are in America for 20 years, 30 years, but they have nothing to show for it. That is why so many are in Germany for years, but they have nothing to show because that is not the area you are meant to be. Today, every average Nigerian wants to go to abroad. I don't blame them. Things are hard. I don't blame them. But the Bible says there shall be a remnant in Zion. Are you traveling to Canada selling your shop, four shop you have, to go to UK? Are you selling your shop to go to UK that everybody in UK are they making it? There are many there that people are here are far better than in everything. And this is the raw teaching. You're supposed to have a true connection to the supernatural. And ask the Lord a question before you make any step. Everybody is selling. Some are selling their land, their land in the village. Some are selling their ancestral land. They want to go to Italy. I've said it before, there is nothing bad in going to abroad. But you may go there without still making it. Many are there, they are not making it. One, one of the brothers that came from UK told me, when I traveled to UK, this is how they are following me. I was one buying drinks for them. Some are in abroad, homeless. They don't have a home. Before you make a move, I'm not telling you that going there is no good, but ask God a question. There are so many Nigerians in South Africa, Italy. They went there and met Soro. Lord, Abraham, there was a time in the history. Abraham's servant, we are fighting with Lord's servant. The two servants we are fighting. Abraham said to Lord, why will my, my workers and your workers fight him? We are brothers. Choose a place you will go. And the Bible says, Lord, look at Sodom and notice that Sodom was so beautiful. Then Lord, choose Sodom because there is water and the beautiful grass is there. Lord went to Sodom. He lost his properties. He went to Sodom and lost his wife. His wife turned to a pillar of salt. Lot went to Sodom. His two daughters could not marry. Lot went to Sodom and encountered bad luck. His two daughters gave him a drink. He was drunk and he slept with two of them. And they have children from their own biological father. Amorite today are the children of Lot.
where are you traveling to? There is a purpose of God concerning everybody. Everybody must not travel. I know a man that told me I've never crossed Niger Bridge since I was born. But he have houses. He traveled to Enugu and Ambraimu. He asked people to bring something he wants to buy in Lagos. People, he says, since I was born, I've never crossed that Niger Bridge. But he's a multi-millionaire. Many Nigerians in abroad have lost their generation. Many. Our ancestors will marry five, six, ten wives because they are looking for a male child. Why? We have culture. Somebody like Barack Obama, he always have two daughters. And he don't care. That was how Americans, white, don't care whether male or female. White people have no culture. They don't care whether it's a male and female. They don't care. But here, especially the Igbos, we care about it. It's our pattern. It's our way. It's our, the way we were brought up. Our ancestors, we married 10 wives, 6 wives, 20 wives, because they want a male child. They believe. And what was their reason of looking for a male child? Let my name not fade out. Even when they have 20 girls, they will be looking for a boy so that the boy will continue to lift the family name up. Because your female children will marry and they will begin to answer their husband's name. But your male child will continue to bear your name and take over there. So our ancestors value that. There are so many Igbos in America, UK, Europe that their ancestors, where they are now, high and antique crazy. If you, if you can see the spirit of some of our ancestors, they will be crying wherever they are over the mistake of many of our people. In the name that you are in America, Europe, you have some children, you are watching them, they know nothing about our culture. They don't even speak Igbo language as example. They don't speak your language. They don't understand your culture. They were born there. They speak like them. You ask yourself, anytime you die and your wife die, will anything bring them home? Of course, no. Just tell yourself the truth. Some of these children, some of you have, the highest respect they will give you is the dead of burial. I mean, the highest respect they will give you is on the burial day. They will come. Your ancestors will weep. Their spirits will not be happy. Because your chapter in, in your father's lineage is closed. Anytime you die, it's over. They are not coming. 50 years to come, they will begin to answer uh, Katin Cole, Archie Cole, Lampard, Michael Johnson. That is not our culture. Our ancestors, we do everything to make sure. Most of you has closed the chapter of your ancestors. I know a boy, a man that told me I, was, I am the only son. My father told me not to allow my family to close. I married my wife. I went to America. And I also have only one son. That boy refused to come back home. He says, I'm not coming to Africa. And now my manhood is not working. I can't even have a child again. I am old. The man was telling me, I have disappointed my, answer, my father. Our people, are, some of them are so careless. Some of your children don't speak your language. Do you think you, you, you will remain strong? Even as you are strong now, they don't listen to you. You ask them to come by say, Mom, I'm not coming. I have a good job. I don't want to come. One of them died. One man died. He have houses everywhere. I was one of them. They called that time. He died 
Oh, there is nothing that killed a man. What killed him is overthinking. He have properties everywhere. He bad on where the orca. He build. He have two sons, two boys and two girls. He, he called them. Uh, they say, oh, dad, for daddy, give it to your uncles. We are okay here in the United States. Oh, daddy, we are okay in the United States. Oh, daddy, we are okay in the United States. You, their father was telling them, do you know what you're saying? Are you telling me my labors will be in vain? They refused to come. The man died. And the, the uncles are in charge. Most of this house, some of you build in the village, who will even stand? Who will stand? Your brothers will take over the house. We are not even talking about the house. What is the house in the village? House in the village is, means nothing. What we are talking is your lineage that God did not make a mistake for creating you to be an Africa, to be an Igbo man, to be a Yoruba. But because of your, your marriage and the way you face your children, you are somehow deleted out of Igbo line by when you die, it's over. Your children are not coming. You, of course, look at them. Nothing will bring them. They have no friend here. There is nothing that can bring them here. You have lost generation. I am not preaching the message for you to. I don't know. Genesis 24. Abraham said to his servant, put my, your hand in Angadam. Put your hand here. Make a vow. Abraham said it. Make a vow that you will go to my home and get a wife for my son Isaac. Why was Abraham asking his servant to make a vow? Abraham said, please, oh, I, am, I am old. I can no longer go and find a wife for my son Isaac. Go to my home country. This is not my land. Why? Abraham don't want to have lost generation. He doesn't want to have lost generation. Many Igbo children are scattered everywhere. 75 are not coming back again. The structure is very bad. Look at your children. Check yourself. How many times have you bring them? Talk less of when you die. If it's not me that started preaching that burying people outside their home is bad. You don't bury a black man among the white people. The racist will start. We continue. Before people go to, there is a place something about death is only God that will explain it. When Samuel died, when Samuel died, Saul consulted the spirit of Samuel. That spirit of Samuel came out. It's only God can explain something about death. Jacob said, don't bury me here. Jacob said to Joseph, make a vow. You will bury me to my home, not here in abroad. I am in abroad in Egypt. Don't bury me here. Joseph also said that they have to embalm Joseph. They put Joseph in a coffee for years when God was delivering people of Israel from Egypt. Moses carried the body of Joseph. Today, you are signing a will for you to be buried in America when you die. You are writing a will for you to be buried in the UK. You are writing a will. Your, your, you, your lineage comes from here. And you are writing a will for you to be buried uh, in Canada. You are a disappointment to your ancestors. Huh. Why did the Jacob say, don't bury me in a foreign land? Why did the Joseph say that? Why did our people say, Nisi weze adia tonamba? This is an autonomy of slaves. They get with it, bro. As of then, I was born in a royal family. I grew up hearing from the elders of our land. Our people can do anything to go and bring somebody, the family that our daughter that died in another place back home and bury her. Most of you that have traveled in search of greener pastor. In different country, have a lot of problem that I don't know if we can correct it again. And you check yourself. Most of our people that they are children even speak English. 
It is their fault. They intentionally don't want to speak English. Igbo. So that their children will be speaking American accent, a British accent, a European accent. And so, that your son who speaks British accent, does he make, does he add anything to his greatness? Nothing. Is he a boise, a boise? No matter who is the so, Italian speak English with Italian accent. Germany, German speak English with a German accent. China speak English with China accent. It's only Igbo that try to speak English with American accent. Look at your daughters. Today, some of them are becoming lesbian because you face their eyes. There are homosexuals and lesbians in, in Nigeria. That is here. But you dare not boldly say that I am. If you check those who are boldly saying it, that I am lesbian or homosexual, they are not more than five in Nigeria. As a whole country, they are not more than five in Nigeria. Those who are bold to say that I'm a homosexual. But over there in America, in Europe, it's a common thing. Your daughter kiss on the street with a fellow girl. Your son kiss on the street with a fellow with a, another man because you abandoned your culture. You did not tell them that this is not what our people are doing. You don't let them know that there are a place you come from. I know some of the Indian people, both Indian women in the United States, they still dress like Indian people. They talk like Indian people. I weep for our people. Just check yourself. Is your children still coming back home? Will anything still bring them to Africa when you are gone? 70% is over. You are just claiming, I have a son, I have a son. Your children, this is broad daylight slavery. African Americans in America, African Americans, their own is even understandable that 400 years ago, white people, not missionaries. Missionaries are different from slave trade masters. Missionaries are different from slave masters. They are different people. Black Americans, if you go to France today, you will see their best footballers are black people. They are Africans. Any black man, anywhere you are, is an African. Four, five hundred years ago, there was what they call slave trade. Where they came here and buy and buy and bought and bought bought in Ghana, in Ibo, different part of Africa, and carry them to Europe. That is why they have them, call them black Amer nothing like black America. They are black. They are Africans. Their own is understandable. That they bought them. They don't know their dress again. Uh, recently, Bishop T. B. Gino Carabel. T. Gino J. Six. Uh, T. Gino. Six. Uh, Bishop, somebody I don't know. T D Jess. Recently, he, he ran his DNA and came out and said, oh, my DNA proves that I'm an Igbo man. He ran it. Now, those African-Americans, their own is understandable because they don't know their trace again. And it's not all of them that have money for DNA. But what of you that they did not buy you? You go there and your generation are lost. Ebobla nanangihano they will not even be happy with you. Because Amahan and Chichi, their lineage is about to close because they traveled to Canada, because they traveled to Germany, because they traveled to, 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 to America. I don't know why I'm too passionate whenever I'm preaching this message. You must know that many have traveled and encountered sorrow. My preaching today it's Genesis 262. When Isaac wants to go to Egypt, the Lord says, don't go. It's not everywhere you will travel to. So many of them have passport of Germany, but they don't have $10,000 in their account for 30 years in Germany. 
you must pray to God to give you direction of whom, where to go, where to stay, what to do. You must have a connection to supernatural for proper direction before so that you cannot make mistakes that will not cause you pain. I advise some of them in abroad. There are so many powerful private schools here where you can bring your children. They study here and have culture. This place where the teacher can flog them small is lack of flogging where the children have right. Most of fine black boys are homosexual in abroad. It's in fact, the way homosexual and lesbianism is increasing, it is a shame. Because they are living in a, in a country that have no culture. And he did not let them know, look at the culture of our land. We don't do this. We don't eat a cake. Anywhere I travel to today, I can't eat a cake because my village people don't used to eat a cake. Orca does not eat a way. The same thing, wherever you are, you should teach your children their language, the culture, and they will grow up with it. May the Lord direct you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wave your hands to Jesus Christ. Alleluia, oh Alleluia, oh Alleluia, oh Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Now listen to me before I pray for you. Anybody that scam, you are the one that wants to be scammed. As the program is going on, somebody is chatting you. I am a Bukanos here with a phone number and you are responding. Am I the one who preaching and also chatting you? Why can't people use their bread? Any Ebuka you see on comment section, Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Line is fake. I don't solidate for fund online. I can never tell you that it's a motherless baby. Why is many of us not reasoning enough? If you go to comment section now, somebody is busy sending you a text message on comment section. I am this. Ebuka is here. Look at this line. He's sending prayer to you. You are saying amen to one man with Ibo. I am here in a comment section. Somebody was showing me the other day. Ebuka will be anos here. Ebuka will be anos here with a number. I don't have a Facebook like that. I don't have WhatsApp like that. They are using my picture, my name. It should be wise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Alleluia. Oh, Alleluia. 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 Chukwe. Alleluia. Oh, Alleluia. Oh, Alleluia. Alleluia. It may be difficult to re retrain your children, but may the Lord help you. Amen. And with a good school, you can bring them here. Private schools, Nanambra Reigns, and with so many Catholic powerful schools. Teach your children whom you are, so that when you die, you can be sure that you did not disappoint your ancestors. My hope is on nothing less. That Jesus Lord, my righteousness, I do not cross the sweetest pain of only of Jesus' name. Of Christ the Son, the rock I stand, all on the ground, the city all on the ground. 
As you place your right hand on your forehead, may the mercy of God come upon you. Amen. May the favor follow you. Amen. May you not die. May the Lord level every mountain before you. Amen. May you stop back out of the house. A boy of 18 years, pack out. It doesn't happen here. They don't burn the person well. My daughter has left my home. It can never happen here. It doesn't work here. It's in abroad. My daughter just left the home. My son left home. It doesn't happen here. All of us here have not died. Instead of it to produce gener generation that will be forgotten, it's better you discipline them here. Some of, so many of them now adopting children. Adopt when you adopt, you take them to America. We grow and become. Why can't you adopt them? Some of you that have no children, adopt them and keep them in a good school here. Becoming to see them when they finish university, you can now take them to go and do their masters. Then they have been nurtured with the culture. You adopt them, you take them to America. One woman with a walking stick, she came to her bar, adopted two girls. That two girls went to America, joined the American army. They joined the American army. Today, they have abandoned the woman and adopted them. The woman adopted them from Abba, took them to America. In Abba, they have abandoned. The woman had stroke. I wept when she said that my two girls are adopted. I raised them in America. They have abandoned me. That is the only thing you can see in abroad. You adopt the children here, you will put them in school here. He said, I want to take them to America. And I have added another name to Oti Charafancha. To Jesus, Oti Charafancha. Oti Charafancha. Zionite worldwide, stand firm in your faith and your prayer. It is the Lord who validates a man. And whom God has blessed, nobody can cause. Wave your hands and give him God glory. Wave your hands. May you not die in the hand of the old prophet. Amen. I can't hear your amen. Amen. That's your amen. Suffers so HIV. Amen. amen. May you, new prophet, don't break your vow. Amen. Don't put mouth in the woman private part. Amen. Don't put somebody's a small girl breast in your mouth when amen. you're. When you are not married, you new touch that new prophet. You new new prophet. Stay away from woman bum bum. Stay away from say you new prophet. Stay away from homosexual. Stay away from lesbianism. Stay away say you new prophet. Slap that person. Say you new prophet. You new prophet. Don't charge people money to pray for them. Stay away say you new prophet. Prophet. Don't charge people money to pray for them. Don't charge people money to pray. Say, you new prophet. You new prophet. There is nothing like uh, first fruits. Say, I say, there is nothing like first fruits. Say, I can say, you new prophet. If you want to prophesy to somebody, make sure that it's the Lord that's speaking to you. New prophet. Be wise. Be wise. New, prophet. New prophet. Look unto God. Look unto who, God. Is who is the author and the finisher, and the finisher of, your faith. of your faith. You, new prophet, you new prophet. Learn, from learn from the new prophet from Judah. And you, old prophet, that want to kill the new prophet. I want to tell you something. The new prophet now is wise. You will not succeed. As you are planning to kill the new prophet. Every spirit of old prophet here. Holy Ghost! Spirit of old prophet is spirit of jealousy. May God bless you. Place your right hand on your forehead. Church, 
maybe if they discredit Zion, and I pray Ebuka does not see this one. If they discredit Zion, people will stop coming. Are you the one who is bringing people to Zion Minister? Do we have signboard? Oh, Mona, but then the Manolo Mock and Nalo, of them Nisu Buana, Biam Nabreno, Biam Nanti, and if we are never a measure. May the message of God come upon you Amen. as you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Amen. May your yoke be broken. Amen. You are lifted. Amen. You are favored. Amen. You are extraordinary. Amen. I can you hear your amen. amen. Long live Zion ministry. Amen. Long live Evangelist Zion! We move. Zion! We move. Zion! We move. Surely. May the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and good fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage. Holy Mother of God, we may live on our days. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wow. We are glad that you enjoy it and blessed. Thanks for watching. Please brethren help us, subscribe our channel, and share to your friends and family, as it is written, in Psalm 68 verse 11, that the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. See you again on another videos. May the Lord bless you and keep and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and loved ones. Hallelujah.